Hello, good morning everyone. I hope you all had a good night's rest. Right, uh, welcome to this morning session. We'll just be looking at uh, what's in store for us today in the markets. Uh, first off, it's looking at the economic calendar to help us prepare for the day. And again, we're looking for reports of high importance due out today, which could affect the markets. Obviously, the main market we're trading is the Euro US dollar. So we're looking for reports of high importance due out that could affect the Euro US dollar. Uh, today is Wednesday, Wednesday the 9th of July, and at 7 p.m. GMT plus one, at 7 p.m. GMT plus one, we have. Uh, the Federal Open Market Committee in the USA uh, announced in the minutes of their meeting, which is to announce the interest rate decision uh, from the U.S. So we have the interest rate decision due out from the U.S. at 7 p.m. GMT plus one today. Obviously, being an interest rate decision out from USA, it would affect all markets. So that would affect the stock market, the commodities market, the bond market, and obviously the currency market. So all markets will be affected by this report at 7 p.m. GMT plus one. So there's a very high probability of the markets trending sideways prior to 7 p.m. GMT plus one. So in view of that fact, uh, we're just going to avoid trading today till about 7 p.m. We're not going to be placing any pending orders or placing any trades. We're just going to keep out of the markets because there's a high probability of the markets trending sideways. And then we'll meet again just before the report is due to be announced at 7 p.m. GMT plus one. So again, the key to success in trading is knowing when not to trade. And it's not advisable to trade prior to a report of high importance and the interest rate decision due out this evening is of extremely high importance. So there's a very high probability of the market trending sideways prior to then. Again, remember you don't use the words always and never when it comes to trading. Uh, the words always and never does not exist. But again, you make your decisions and your plan based on what usually happens. Not not what you don't base it on what really happens. You base your plan and your decision making on what usually happens. And the markets usually trend sideways prior to the last report of high importance. So as we can see, uh, the Euro US dollar is currently trending sideways. Uh, we marked out the sideways trend from last night when we met. But you can see the market has spiked that a uh, couple of times, but it's still trending sideways. Uh, that's now the high point of the sideways trend. Let me just move that up. So the market, you can see, is trending sideways comfortably between the first resistance and the pivot point. So since it's trending sideways comfortably between the first resistance and pivot point, I'll just remove this white line so we don't have too many lines on the chart because we can see clearly the market is trending sideways comfortably between the first resistance and the pivot point. But like I say, we're not going to place any pending orders. We're just going to leave the market alone and then we'll meet again just before the report is due to be announced this evening. So we will not be meeting at 12 midday. We're not going to meet at 12 midday. Uh, this is a good time to take a break from the markets. Go and do something else. Have a good time today. You can concentrate on something else. And then we'll refocus onto the markets uh, later this evening, just before the report is due out. OK, any questions? If you have any questions, do click the hand button or send your questions through the question box. Otherwise, if you have uh, no questions, I wish you all a good morning. Have a good day, and we'll meet later on this evening. Take care.